What if time doesn't flow the way we think? You wake up, you rise, you live through the hours, and you sleep. And you assume time flows forward, past, present, future, moment to moment like a river. But what if that's not true? Or at least not the whole truth? In recent years, physicists have discovered something extraordinary, time crystals. These exotic systems break the symmetry of time itself, creating stable, repeating patterns not just in space, but across time. It's been called a new state of matter. But what if it's something more? What if time crystals hold clues, not just to physics, but to consciousness, to why we experience time as a flowing stream, why we remember the past, but not the future? Why ancient traditions spoke of cyclical time, karma, and recurrence? In this video, we take you on a journey, from cutting-edge physics to the deep mystery of mind, and ask whether time itself might be conscious. Time crystals sound like science fiction, but they're real, and they challenge our basic ideas about matter and time. First proposed by Nobel laureate Frank Wilczek in 2012, time crystals are systems that spontaneously break time symmetry. In normal matter, like crystals, atoms arrange themselves in repeating patterns across space. But in time crystals, there's something stranger. Their structure repeats across time, oscillating without using energy, forming stable, predictable cycles. Imagine a pendulum that keeps swinging forever without friction, or a system that moves but never loses energy. These aren't perpetual motion machines. They exist only under special quantum conditions, often in lab-controlled setups. But their discovery has stunned physicists because it shows that time itself can form patterns, that time may be as malleable and strange as space. In physics, time is often treated as a dimension like space, a backdrop across which events unfold. But in our conscious experience, time is not static or symmetrical. We feel it flow. We experience a now, a before and an after. We remember the past, we anticipate the future. But why? Nothing in physics explains the arrow of time, why entropy increases, why eggs break but don't unbreak, why we age forward, not backward. And nothing in neuroscience fully explains why consciousness seems to move through time, like a rider on a river. Here's where time crystals open a door. If time can have structure, if it can repeat or oscillate under the right conditions, could it be that consciousness too is linked not to the progression of time but to its patterns? its deeper hidden symmetries. Long before physics, human cultures imagined time not as a line, but as a circle. In Hinduism, Buddhism, and Jainism, time unfolds in great cycles, kalpas and yugas, where worlds rise and fall, souls are reborn, and karma loops through lifetimes. In ancient Greece, philosophers spoke of eternal recurrence, the idea that all things repeat infinitely. The Maya tracked vast cosmic cycles, the Egyptians imagined time as a snake eating its tail. Could it be that these ancient intuitions grasped something we are only now beginning to detect? That time is not simply a forward march, but a dance of patterns, of returns, of hidden symmetries? Could time crystals, with their repeating temporal structures, be tiny quantum hints of a deeply cyclical cosmos, one where consciousness is not trapped in time but surfing its waves? Now let's turn inward. Why does consciousness experience time the way it does? Why does now feel so immediate, so central, when physics treats it as no more real than past or future? Neuroscientists suggest that consciousness stitches together moments into a coherent flow, integrating sensory data, memory, and prediction into a continuous present. But this leaves a deeper mystery. Why is there any subjective time at all? Why do we feel ourselves moving through time rather than floating in a block universe where all events coexist? Some philosophers propose that consciousness is a temporal process, not a thing, but a becoming, a vibration, a cycle. And if that's true, time crystals might offer an intriguing parallel. Systems that don't just exist, but exist through repeating temporal rhythms, stable yet never static. Could consciousness, at some level, be a time crystal of the mind? In karmic traditions, every action leaves an imprint, a seed that ripens across lifetimes, shaping future experience. Memory, too, is not just a record of the past. It's the echo of past patterns influencing present choices. Modern physics describes recurrence at microscopic scales, 
particles vibrating in cycles, quantum fields fluctuating endlessly. But what if these patterns scale upward? What if human lives, human minds, are part of a vast temporal tapestry where past, present and future are interwoven, where our consciousness resonates with the cycles of matter, energy and time? Time crystals show us that systems can oscillate across time without decay, that stability and motion, repetition and renewal can coexist. Might karma, memory and identity themselves be temporal structures, repeating, evolving, shimmering like hidden time crystals in the flow of existence? Here we reach the boldest, most speculative horizon. Could time itself be conscious? Not in the simplistic sense of a thinking clock, but as a dimension of awareness, a field through which mind and matter co-arise. Bernardo Castrop and other idealist philosophers suggest that consciousness is not produced inside time. Rather, time is a mode of consciousness, a way the cosmic mind organizes experience. In this light, time crystals become more than lab curiosities. They become hints, like reflections in a dream, that time is not a container, but a participant, that the universe is not just unfolding in time, but dreaming itself through time. And we, as conscious beings, are not just passengers on this journey, but active expressions of the cosmos becoming aware of time's own dance. Time crystals invite us to rethink the nature of time, symmetry, and change. But they also invite us to rethink ourselves not as isolated egos moving through a dead universe, but as waves of awareness, pulsing with the hidden rhythms of reality. Perhaps consciousness flows through time because time itself is alive, not mechanical but meaningful, patterned, aware. Perhaps the ancient mystics and the modern physicists are glimpsing, from opposite directions, the same mystery, that at the heart of existence is a dance, a pattern, a shimmering flow, where time, mind and matter are not separate, but one. If this touched something in you, share your thoughts in the comments. Have you ever sensed time as more than a line, as a pulse, a song, a presence? And if you're ready to keep exploring the deep mystery of consciousness and reality, subscribe, because we're just beginning to awaken to the dreaming flow of time.